Rode shows off gruesome injury after Lundstrom kicked him in the head. Sebastian Rode literally put blood, sweat and tears into Eintracht Frankfurt's Europa League final triumph against Rangers on Wednesday, with an emphasis on the former. The Frankfurt captain suffered a gruesome injury in the opening exchanges of their triumph, a 5-4 penalty shootout win after the match ended 1-1 following extra time, when he was kicked in the head by John Lundstrom. The incident occurred as the two players clashed just outside of the Frankfurt box in the sixth minute, and there was a lengthy delay as Rode received treatment. Lundstrom went for the ball with what a raised boot and caught Rode, who had ducked his head down towards it. Immediately the 31-year-old had blood gushing from his head, but played on once he was seen by the physio. The German midfielder lasted 90 minutes before he was replaced. But despite the sore head, he was able to join in the celebrations and lift the Europa League trophy post-match. And following the jubilation, Rode then took to Twitter to show the extent of his injury, which included multiple stitches from the front of his hairline down to his forehead. The main thing is to get the thing. Everything else doesn't matter, he wrote to accompany the image. The incident with Lundstrom was an early talking point in the match, but many believed Slovenian referee Slavko Vincic made the right call in not sending the Rangers man off. Former referee Peter Walton said on BT Sport that the challenge was not worthy of a red card, mainly because of the movement made by Rode, but the Lundstrom should have been booked. The Frankfurt bench appealed for action to be taken by Vincic against the Englishman, but the referee and VAR decided against it. I thought he could have got a yellow, it was accidental, and it was pleasing for us in the studio that he didn't get a red card, McCoist said on BT Sport. Former Rangers striker Kenny Miller said he was glad Vincic was not influenced by the blood and the fact Rode was forced to change his shirt following the tackle. We were talking in the build-up about how big an impact the referee and VAR could have on the match, Miller, working as a BT Sport pundit for the game, said. When you see blood or the extent of the injury, sometimes that influences the referee, but thankfully it didn't. He Lundstrom touched the ball ever so slightly and the referee has given him the benefit of the doubt. Owen Hargreaves admitted there were nerves in the BT Sports studio, but said they were thankful Vincic stayed out of it. The reaction on social media was far stronger, with several insisting Lundstrom should have been given his marching orders though. How he didn't even get a yellow ill sick never know, wrote at D-A-R-R-E-N-M-E-E-H-A-N-2 on Twitter, while another user, at Chief Punter, said, easiest red card you could ever give. He didn't even give a free kick. At Agbanaga added, if Zaka did this, I assure you he'll be given red card X2, with at Logibear 196725 describing it as an awful challenge. Others likened the incident to the red card given to Nani in a Champions League tie between Manchester United and Real Madrid in March 2013. The Portuguese winger was sent off for a high tackle on Alvaro Arbelo in the match at Old Trafford, 